Now, you've probably heard about the impact African people have had on life and culture in Britain over the past 50 years or so. But did you know that people of African descent were influencing and shaping British society as far back as 300 years ago? A new exhibition called Black Georgians, The Shock of the familiar shows their lives had much more in common with those we live today than you might think. My colleague Lebo Diseko found out. I'm in Brixton, which for many years has been home to a large African community. And over the next couple of months, it's going to be hosting an exhibition dedicated to the Black Georgians. Those are people who lived here in the 18th and 19th century. Now this installation that I'm standing in is supposed to represent a pleasure garden. That's where people of the time used to come and mix and mingle. Many of them were black, many of them were African. Perhaps the best known black Georgian is Dido Elizabeth Bell, pictured here with her cousin. You may remember her story from a recent film. She was the daughter of an enslaved African woman and a British aristocrat and she was brought up in Britain. But by the late 18th century, there were around 15,000 other black people in Britain living at various levels of society. And their lives and issues share some striking similarities to many of ours today. When we can see ideas of people of different ethnic groups getting together, such as in this image of people of all classes and backgrounds dancing, ideas of multiculturalism, ideas of ethnic politics, racial identity, migration, as well as massive industrialization. All the things that we think are particular to the 21st century, they've gone before, and people of African origin have been at the center of it more than 200 years ago. And what was life like for uh, African people living in the UK at that time, and, and how did they get here? Well, life for people of African origin was wildly divergent. We have people who were bought here as enslaved people. We have people who were born here generationally, people who just came to visit, and people who worked here and had families here. Um, so it's a complete range between enslaved and property owning and elite. Is there anyone from Africa from that time that really stands out to you? Yes, I'd say the person who really stands out for me is this individual, Alauda Equiano. He um, was an Igbo from Nigeria. He was taken from uh, the con continent um, as a 10-year-old. He was a world traveler, not just an enslaved person. He bought his own freedom. He managed to become a best-selling writer, and he was a major abolitionist. He was against the slave trade, and he was one of the first black lobbyists in this country, a major figure. Readings of Equiano's words can be heard as you walk through the exhibition. Hundreds of years on, and this Nigerian writer is still influencing people in the country he was forced to come to. Lebu Diseko, BBC News. And Black Georgians, the shock of the familiar is on at the Black Cultural Archives in London until April next year.